These vials of blood are being prepared for testing along the high-tech track system at the Blood Bank's Christiana Center. The track sensors read barcodes on each vial and send them where they need to go. Another machine uncaps and recaps the samples depending on their destination. Previously, all this testing prep work had been done by hand, a much, much more time-consuming process for the tests needed on hundreds of donations. About 350 donors a day is what it takes us to, uh, to keep our hospitals in supply. The industry's changing drastically uh, and it's hard to keep up and if we don't continue to change and adapt, we won't be able to be here long term for the community. Chris Nair has led the charge to make the Blood Bank of Delmarva a leader in innovation. We are the first blood center in the country to have an automated track in our donor screening lab. It allows us to be more efficient, more competitive, and uh, position ourselves as being a regional testing provider for not only Blood Bank of Delmarva, but for other blood centers in the area. With that efficiency, Nair hopes to expand the blood bank's footprint beyond the Delmarva Peninsula. If you look at where Blood Bank of Delmarva is located along the I-95 corridor and the proximity we have to multiple airports in the region, if you just kind of look in the next three to four states, there's anywhere from 350,000 to 500,000 blood donor samples that we could be testing here that aren't being done here. So we're continuing to look at what are the opportunities that are really in the region and how do we work on getting some of that volume to come to us instead of go other places. In addition to the new track system, the blood bank is also one of the first in the nation to utilize Intercept, a new technology that uses ultraviolet light and sorolin, a compound found in celery, to neutralize pathogens in donated platelets. That can inactivate those pathogens and keep them from growing and multiplying. So it, it essentially makes the platelet product safer and it minimizes the chance that a patient can get a, some kind of a bacterial or pathogen infection from the platelet product. All of this is driven for one thing and one thing only and that's patient safety, donor safety. It is a major shift because it moves from trying to test for everything or continue to add tests to now we have a way to inactivate those pathogens and I think over time we'll actually be doing less testing. The intercept treatment could enable donated platelets to stay on hospital shelves longer, extending the supply. That could be a game changer. That could take that five day window and increase it to seven days. And can you imagine with, with 48 hours more of an opportunity to use that product, the big difference it could make. January is National Blood Donor Month, and the Blood Bank of Delmarva says out of 35% of the population who are eligible to donate, just 4 or 5% roll up their sleeves to give. They obviously would like to see that number increase and say they're willing to answer any questions or concerns you have that keep you from becoming a blood donor.